Progressive prosecutors in Chicago and in many other cities across the country, including in otherwise, quote, tough on crime states, are making a mockery of true criminal justice reform. At least when studies refuse to fudge numbers or exclude certain conveniently chosen categories of violent crime, I think the data is very clear that these policies in practice have not properly balanced reform with public safety. Here in Chicago, newly implemented bail policies have resulted in 33% more individuals on pretrial release being charged with committing a new violent crime. And given abysmally low clearance and arrest rates for these crimes, we are almost certainly undercounting that impact. Additional evidence is thoroughly laid out in my written testimony, but frankly, nothing could capture the breadth of this problem better than one recent yet fairly common example that should infuriate every person in this room. Ms. Swear, I read your testimony. Uh, and I believe in all fairness, since we did not invite the Cook County State's Attorney's Office to be represented here today, uh, that you shouldn't really zero in on any particular individual. If you want to speak to the trends, that's certainly your right, but uh, because uh, that decision was made by the committee to keep this more at the federal level, I hope you'll respect that. Senator, I, I do, in fact, respect that this is something that uh, we are looking at from a federal level. However, when we're talking about what is actually happening in Chicago, I, I think Mr. Lausch from the first panel is correct. We need to look at you know, how do things like not charging five individuals who shot up a residential neighborhood on a weekend on, or on a Friday, who none of which were charged and were released on Monday, how does that impact the feeling of confidence? How does that build trust with communities? I think that is a valid thing to consider um, because again, as, as other panelists have pointed out, a lot of uh, criminal justice, uh, a lot of you know, how we actually enforce the law is done at a local level. These things matter. Uh, I understand that. But what I'm saying to you is there is another side to the story, I believe. I'm not here to defend one or the other. But we didn't invite the elected official that you're referring to who made this decision. And I would think that in fairness, you should proceed with many of the other points that you have in your statement. Well, I will summarize that in, with respect and deference to you, Mr. Chairman, uh, by saying that, again, it is one fairly common example uh, that I think points back to uh, this, this lack of trust and the, the ways in which some of these prosecutorial tactics facilitate this violence. Because this crime spike is not uh, because more Americans have purchased firearms through lawful channels this year. It's not because Chicago residents can purchase a gun 20 minutes away in Indiana, subject to the same restrictions as if they purchased it 20 minutes away in an Illinois suburb. It's because millions of Americans suddenly lost their livelihoods or had their livelihoods ripped out from under them, had their vital social networks disrupted, had all manner of serious stressors inflicted on them over an extended period of time. It's because the police departments across this nation had abruptly changed the ways in which they deploy their resources, in which they responded to service calls and interacted with civilians. It's because certain prosecutors can't be bothered to pursue criminal charges, and I think not just in one case, but in many cases where offenders are too often released on bail or prosecutions are refused on their behalf. I think acknowledging the roles that these widespread drastic policy changes played in creating this climate of violence may not be as simple or politically expedient as blaming lawful gun sales or neighboring states, but it would go a long way to saving lives. So I look forward to your questions, especially with regard to ways in which we can combat the effects of these policy changes. 